The truth may be a lie, but Black Ops 6 being this year's best multiplayer experience is far from it. Given how poorly last year's Modern Warfare 3 was, I was a little worried that Black Ops 6 was going to follow in the same footsteps. But thankfully, Treyarch reminds everyone why the Black Ops series reigns supreme. With only a month away from release, this beta proves that Call of Duty listens to fan feedback and is not afraid to evolve past the competition. The biggest downfall from last year's Call of Duty was how uninspiring everything was and just seemed to copy and paste Warzone into everything. DMZ was just Warzone with zombies, multiplayer was just Warzone with less people, and the campaign was just Warzone, but with cutscenes. Here it seems that's all in the past, as Black Ops 6 multiplayer proves that having separate experiences is what we've all been asking for. Upon loading up the beta for the first time, I was quickly overwhelmed with how much they had to offer. And discovering what was new in this installment made me feel like a kid in a candy shop filled with care packages. For starters, the loadout system had been revamped to allow for more customizability this time around. You still have your slots for primary and secondary weapons, field upgrades, tactical and lethal throwables with your three perks, but this time around there was a separate slot for your knives and melee weapons. No longer would you need to sacrifice your secondary weapon slot for your melee. Now you can show off your $70 melee weapon while having your sidearm neatly tucked at your side. The most interesting change to the loadout was how you use perks this time around. By having three perks of the same color, blue, green, or red, you can unlock a secret specialty perk that allows greater flexibility for your playstyle. I found myself mixing and matching similar color perks to see what worked best for my playstyle while trying to keep these specialty perks. The Killstreak system also seems to have gotten some rather controversial updates. This time around, Killstreak have been entirely replaced with score streaks. This means you obtain your streak abilities not by how many enemies you take out in a row, but by how many points you can accumulate in a single life. This makes it so players obtain these game-changing abilities by completing objectives and helping out your team, relying on teamwork and strategy over just getting kills. Although some players might relish the removal of traditional kill streaks, I'd find it a much needed update for newcomers or casual players having these players rewarded for working alongside the team. Once you got your loadout all set, it's time to hop into the new and muchly needed improved multiplayer. You have your standard team deathmatch and domination modes, but this time around Black Ops 6 added a new face-off mode. This mode disables score streaks, allowing players to face off using nothing more than pure skill. It's an interesting addition to the series for players who want to focus on improving their reaction speeds and overall performance without worrying about an attack helicopter turning you into Swiss cheese. I found myself often using Face Off to experiment with different weapon builds and trying out their new approach to player movements called Omni Movement. By holding down the crouch button, players can instantly leap and aim in any direction even when aiming down sights. This was such a useful addition to the series and to the FPS landscape as a whole, setting up amazing new ways to approach any situation. Need to get out of a tough jam? Instantly leap out of the way and have the enemy in your sights. Want to get the drop on the enemy, leap in and approach from a new angle. The Omni movement wasn't entirely perfect, however. It was sort of a high risk, high reward kind of play. Sometimes you manage to catch the enemy by surprise, while other times you can mess up and give the enemy an easy kill. Or just accidentally leap down a hole. But Omni movement isn't the only new gameplay feature in Black Ops 6. I'm sure if you ever browse on TikTok or YouTube, you'd probably come across Black Ops 6's most popular newest edition, Player Hostages. By getting behind the enemy, you can either perform an execution or use them as a human shield. It's a fun way to take them by surprise and use them to rack up some extra kills or whisper something into their ears before snapping their neck. That's not to say it was all sunshine and rainbows in this beta. I did encounter some rather unfortunate bugs throughout my time. Sometimes the loading screen would be filled with clone copies of a character holding invisible guns. Other times the match would bug out and refuse to swap loadouts. On the map skyline, I was plagued with small lag spikes and assets that failed to load in or were just plain invisible. One time someone managed to fly though the wall onto the floor below. Pretty hilarious if I didn't immediately die afterwards, but the worst bug of them all was when the entire match bugged out to the point where the audio sounded like I was 800 feet underwater. These bugs did resolve themselves by the next match, but it was still very annoying to deal with. 
That being said, Black Ops 6 is shaping up to be one of the most enjoyable multiplier FPs this year. With the newest changes to player customizations and the addition of Omni Movement, we're about to experience a new evolution in Call of Duty, one that isn't plagued under the shadow of Warzone, and one that's not afraid to experiment with innovative ways to play. I, for one, can't wait to uncover the truths when Black Ops 6 drops October 25th. Stay tuned for our full review upon release. Stand down, Chris.